Hello viewers, welcome to a Quad Blog weekly review of trending stories. If you are a new subscriber or watching for the first time, this is a Quad Blog weekly review of trending stories, where we bring to you the juiciest and trending stories of the week. We talk about politics, lifestyle, and entertainment. Sit back and get ready to watch what we have for you for today. Now let's get straight to the highlight. Tinumbu signs student law bill into law. Akabio elected Senate president. Abbas elected House of Representatives speaker. A Greek ministry urges Nigeria to stop the more push meat consumption. Guinness World Record announces Ilda Basi new record holder. Chef Dami surpasses Ilda Basi's 100 hours. Now let's get into the details of the stories in full. Tinumbu signs student law bill into law. The student law bill, which has just been signed into law by President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu, is expected to see the establishment of an education bank. Now, President Tinumbu signed the bill on Monday at the presidential villa Abuja. The bill was sponsored by the immediate past speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabi Amila. And the good news is, students can begin to access this loan by September 2023. And trust me, you don't need to stress before you can have access to this loan. Oh, good news indeed. Akwabio has been elected Senate President. A former governor of Akwa Ibom State, Godswill Akpabio, has emerged as the Senate President of the 10th Assembly. Akpabio was the preferred candidate of the ruling All Progressive Congress. He was sworn in as the Senate President after gathering 63 votes, leaving his rival Yari Abdulaziz to 46 votes. Wow! Congratulations to Akpabio. Abbas has been elected House of Representatives Speaker. Tajuddin Abbas, the preferred candidate of the ruling all progressive candidates, APC, has emerged as the Speaker of the House of Representatives and the publisher of a court blog, Otumba TJ Abbas, has congratulated Honorable Tajuddin Abbas on his emergence as the Speaker of the House of Representatives. He whose stellar leadership qualities would help him steer the National Assembly towards functional legislative activities that would hoist the country to higher height. Congratulations to Honorable Tajuddin Abbas. Federal lawmaker Rep. Honorable Waliraji appointed as House of Representative Welfare Committee. Speaker of the House of Representative Tajuddin Habas has appointed Equa Federal lawmaker Rep. Waliraji as the chairman of the Welfare Committee. The House of Speaker, it was reported, constituted the seven special committees for the coordination of legislative activities. The speaker announced the constitution of the special committees on Thursday in Abuja. Club 70s, Epe celebrates 20th anniversary, inducts new members. The member of Lagos State House of Assembly representing Epe Constituency 1, Honorable Abiodun Tobun and High Chief Olawale Mogaji, the Otumbalogun of Epe Kingdom, has urged members of Club 70s Epe to ensure that unity and togetherness remains the watchword. He urged members to allow the spirit of nationalism and unity to reflect in their social activities in the club to promote peaceful coexistence in the community. Guinness World Record has announced Ilda Basi, new record holder. Guinness World Record on Tuesday announced Ilda Basi, the new record holder of the longest cooking by an individual. Now, following a thorough review of all the evidence, Guinness World Records confirmed that Ilda Effion Basi, better known as Ilda Basi, has officially broken the record for the longest cooking marathon with a time of 93 hours, 11 minutes. Guinness World Record also tweeted that 
the announcement that Irabasi won was their most prominent tweet with 25 million tweets. Wow, this is of course a double celebration for Irabasi. Congratulations to Irabasi once again. Chef Dami surpasses Ildabasi's 100 hours. Wow. Chef Dami completes 120 hours of marathon cooking. Chef Dami Adekparusi on Wednesday morning completed the 120 hour landmark in the ongoing cookathon. This is coming barely a few hours after the record order for the longest hours in cooking by an individual, Chef Ildabasi, who cooked on a stretch for 100 hours, was certified by Guinness World Record. The piracy began our 120 cooking hour marathon in Oye local government area in Ekiti State on Friday, June 9. Although a lot of people criticized her, but she didn't give up. Now, some people came out to say, and she should have waited for Indabasi to enjoy the fame, you know, celebrate the whole celebration and everything before she comes out to say she wants to break her record. But then, she has done what she has to do. And Guinness World Record has also come out to say that Shedami did not submit any application. The former governor of Lagos State, Akiumi Ambode, celebrated his 60th birthday on Wednesday. And the governor of Lagos State, Governor Babajide Sonwolu, who is his predecessor, sent him a congratulatory message wishing him a happy birthday. Happy birthday to the former Lagos State governor, Akiumi Ambode. Where are my former lovers? Let us gather here because this is for us. The Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development on Monday urged Nigerians to stop consumption of hides, pomo, smoked meat, and bush meat over outbreak of anthrax in some neighboring countries. The alert was contained in a statement signed by the Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, Dr. Ernest Umaike, said it became very necessary to alert Nigerians on the disease that is transferred from infected animals to humans. This is very serious. Like, how can we even survive without Bomo in, in Nigeria? I mean, how can we survive? Because there is basically no soap we want to cook without putting Bomo to spice it up. This Bomo we are talking about has been saving lives since God knows when. I mean, if you want to cook your efori roll, uh -uh, you will need Bomo to like, you know, spice it up, even after the orishi rishi that you are going to put inside. Is it efori leg we say I want to talk about? No, no, you need to have Bomo and some other soups that we prepare that, you know, we put Bomo to spice it up. Especially atadindi, oh my God. Have you tasted atadindi with Bomo? Ah, I bet you haven't. So, how do we even survive without eating Pomo in this country, although it doesn't have nutrients, but then it doesn't stop the fact, it doesn't dispute the fact that pomo is, is, is needed in most of the soups that we prepare. <laughs> Please let the poor breathe. And finally, we have come to the end of today's episode of a Cold Blog Weekly Review on Trending Stories. Feel free to drop your comments on any of the stories in the comments section. And don't forget to like our video. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. And please ensure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you get notified whenever we have new videos for you. Thank you very much for joining us once again. Until I come your way next time, please stay safe. I remain your host, Olainka Olorishala. Bye for now.